It has admittedly been a slow start for new software from Microsoft since the Series X and S hit the market late last year. Whilst we wait for highly anticipated titles such as Hellblade 2 and Halo Infinite, if you've grabbed a subscription for the fantastic Xbox Game Pass, then there are a ton of indie gems for you to fill your library with in the meantime. I'm James Romero, and along with Juan, we've got you covered as we round up the 13 best indie titles available in our opinion. A massive thanks to Joel Parker for helping us put this list together. Let's jump in and take a look. Juan, what have you got for us first? Thank you very much, James. Starting with a game that arrived on Game Pass most recently and one that I thoroughly enjoyed playing with my daughter, we have Donut County, brought to us by a single developer called Ben Esposito and published through the ever-reliable Annapurna Interactive. It's a short and sweet adventure game with a whimsical tale where you play as a raccoon named BK who works in a donut shop, sending out orders to customers that take a sinister twist. Gameplay revolves around you operating a sinkhole and gradually swallowing larger and larger objects within a level. It's an incredibly fun and unique little title you should download to your Xbox library and don't forget the donuts too. Celeste is a tough as nails pixel art platformer that is developed by Mapmex Games who also brought us the awesome Towerfall. You play as Madeline on her journey up a mountain which requires nearly flawless platforming and skills. But the game is also wrapped around a serious narrative of Madeline's battle against depression and her overcoming her problems along her journey. For those who want an even greater challenge, there is optional strawberries to collect in hard to reach areas. Don't just take our word for how good Celeste is, it won Best Independent Game and the Games for Impact Award at the 2018 Game Awards and featured a well-earned place on our top Switch indie games over at our dedicated Switch channel, Switch Watch. Devolver Digital is a publisher synonymous with high quality indie titles and Observation is no exception. Here you take the role of an international space station AI in this sci-fi title in space where you need to work out what happened to the crew aboard the station with the help of the surviving Dr. Emma Fisher. It plays out as a puzzle game as, as you use various control systems and cameras aboard the station to unravel the mystery that darkly unfolds before you. It is an incredibly polished title for an indie game and runtime here is around six to eight hours or so so there's never been a better time to book your next adventure into space if you're looking for something to play with a family member or a significant other then look no further than golf with your friends the game features 11 different 18 hole courses to tackle such as candyland and pirate cove and the game can be played by up to 12 players online and also locally using player rotation. It's a simple game using outlandish physics in a unique style that should be accessible to all of the family. Other features here include a level editor and customization options for your golf balls so you can look the part as you sink that hole in one. River City Girls is a classic style beat em up from the team over at Way Forward and the latest entry into the legendary Kunio Kun franchise. The game uses a beautiful pixel art with a bright and endearing colour palette. This time you play as the girlfriends of Kunio and Ricky in a spin-off game where they learn that their boyfriends have been kidnapped. They must go and save them. There are consumable items that can be stacked to help replenish health within boss battles. And there are also items that you're able to buy to give you a permanent stat boost, but you are only able to equip two at a time. This is a classic franchise you need to add to your Game Pass library without delay and one that we really enjoyed reviewing again over on the Nintendo Switch so you can check that out also at Switch Watch. Moonlighter is an action RPG that has rogue-like elements. You play as Will in the quaint village of Rinoka. At night you enter the dungeons to collect loot and resources and then during the day you own a shop in which you then sell the resources you have accumulated. It's an incredibly addictive game of risk and reward to try and escape before dying to keep the maximum number of resources. And the game also boasts one of the greatest indie soundtracks of recent memory in what is an addicting title you may struggle to put down. Hollow Knight, whilst we all wait for one of the year's most anticipated indie titles, Hollow Knight Silk Song, you can check out the first instalment of the series on Game Pass right now. Team Cherry's epic adventure sees you take on the nameless knight's quest through Hallownest. 
in a picturesque 2D Metroidvania. Killing enemies helps you gain soul, which goes to your soul vessel that can be used to restore health, creating a cool risk-reward mechanic if you are at low health. Furthermore, the game boasts a range of NPCs to help you on your quest and expand the lore of this gem of a game. One that when I personally reviewed on Switch Watch, I gave a 10 out of 10 to. Deep Rock Galactic is a co-op first-person shooter experience that launched in early access in 2018 and then saw a full release arriving on PC and Xbox in 2020. You explore a planet which just so happens to be the most dangerous planet in the galaxy, but also the richest in minerals. You get to explore procedurally generated caves to gain the best resources across four class systems, engineer, gunner, scout, and driller in a fun co-op experience for Game Pass. The game recently passed 2 million copies sold, so now's the best time to jump on in. What a fabulous game Children of Mortar is. Your job is to protect Mortar and you have the whole Bergson family to do it with. There are seven people in total, with some unlocking as you get further. And what is awesome is that all of the characters have different playstyles in this awesome roguelite dungeon crawler. The story is told by a narrator who will instantly have you drawn in, and as you progress you are treated to more dialogue as the tale unfolds, which gives you a sense of progression that's often missing in this type of game. The visuals use a combination of hand-painted pixel art and frame-by-frame -frame animations partnered with modern lighting techniques and it comes to life to create the beautifully dangerous world of Mount Mortar. And that soundtrack underlines the whole adventure. It is truly wonderful. A great game, one you should download today. Crash, bang and wallop. That's generally what happens when you play Lonely Mountains Downhill for the first time. This is a biking adventure that is the epitome of easy to pick up but difficult to master as you fly down the various trails on each mountain from forests to canyons. There is also a whole host of shortcuts and branching paths that you can take, but often they will require more precise handling to pull off. In a time where a lot of us have been stuck indoors, this game really is a breath of fresh air. What Remains of Edith Finch is another title published by Annapurna Interactive and could be considered a walking simulator of sorts. You travel as Edith back to her abandoned family home to uncover what happened to her family members one by one. The storyline will leave you hooked as you play out a range of different gameplay sequences such as playing on a swing or flying a kite across the skies. What Remains of Edith Finch can be completed within one sitting and it's definitely a game you should set aside some time for. Dead Cells is another roguelike action platformer with stylish and fluid combat. You take control of the prisoner on the unnamed island as you fight your way through locales such as the toxic sewers and corrupted prison. Biomes are procedurally generated every time you visit and traversal is much like a Metroidvania experience. Defeating enemies grants cells which at the end of a dungeon can be spent on permanent upgrades for the prisoner. The game is still being well supported with the Fatal Falls DLC just being released, albeit not yet on Game Pass, but now is the best time to dive into the base game if you haven't already, and be rest assured this is definitely one of the best indie games out there. Wrapping up the list, we have Carry On, which is a Metroidvania that has also been described as a reverse horror game on the basis that you control the monster trying to prey on the staff in the facility that had encapsulated you. For your adventure, you will gain new abilities to travel to new areas and you'll often need to morph in size to squeeze through vents, doors and access new areas. Just because you are the monster, don't be fooled that this will be an easy time. Guards with shields and also flamethrowers will block your path through this gruesome facility. So there you have it, 13 gems on Xbox Game Pass you can add to your library right now and all in the cost of just one subscription. Juan, what is your favorite pick of the bunch? Well, for me, if I had to pick one out of this list and I could only pick one, I think it would be Hollow Knight. I reviewed that back on the channel at Switch Watch and out of Dead Cells and Hollow Knight, they were probably two of my favorite indies. I'd have to throw in Children and Mortar as well. I think that's awesome too. But Hollow Knight just wins it for me because it has everything that I enjoy about a game. It's a Metroidvania. I love the visuals and I love the lore. Uh, also, the boss battles are absolutely fantastic. And all that DLC that's come from Team Cherry as well. 
is just phenomenal and i'm really looking forward to the sequel that's due to land sometime this year looking forward to that on whatever a console i can play it on james so thanks for listening everybody see you next time cheers james take care yeah that's a superb pick but for me it's got to be dead cells that game just keeps on giving there are tons more indie games on game pass so did we miss any of your favorites let us know in the comments and if you have a switch then check out our top indies on that platform over at switch watch until next time take care and we hope to see you again soon